Okay, so we all know something is up with Pigsy, Tang, and Sandy, right? They look very similar to the original Pilgrims. Suspiciously similar. And they seem to even have some of the memories of the original Pilgrims. In Season 2, in To Catch a Leaf, when Sandy witnesses Huntsman beat up some monkeys, he briefly has a flashback to a time of war. In this flashback, we can clearly see Zubaje, identifiable by his clothing. Additionally, in flashbacks we see that all the original pilgrims were present at the place the Samadhi fire was split. And in Season 3, when Pigsy, Tang, and Sandy go to that same place, they all remark that this place feels familiar. This means that they all have some memories of being there. Does anyone else feel like... We've been here before? Yeah, that's weird, right? But yeah, I know I haven't. Me neither. And yet this place feels so familiar. Nah, not me, man. This is all new to me. Furthermore, we see that Sandy and Tang have unexplained powers. And here, Tang sees a golden glowing cicada that guides his actions. This is significant because the original pilgrim, Tong Sanjiang, was a reincarnation of one of the Buddha's disciples who was called the Golden Cicada. So, clearly, Tang is somehow linked to Tong Sanjiang. Now, I've seen quite a lot of people say that, because of all this, they might be reincarnations of the original pilgrims. However, I propose that they are the original pilgrims, no reincarnation involved. Now, the reason I highly doubt that Pigsy, Tang, and Sandy are reincarnations of the original pilgrims is because these are Buddhist characters and Journey to the West follows the Buddhist version of reincarnation. In Buddhism and Journey to the West, not only do you not have any memories of your previous lives, you do not look like your previous lives. Note, in Buddhism, sometimes there could be a way to attain past memories of your previous lives. It's complicated. Furthermore, all the original pilgrims should be alive. Many other characters from Journey to the West are confirmed to be alive, like the golden silver horn demons, the scorpion demoness, even the white dragon horse's uncle. So if all these characters are alive, why wouldn't the original pilgrims be alive? So either the original pilgrims were all murdered, or Pigsy, Tang, and Sandy are actually the original pilgrims. And who knows where the white dragon horse is? Weirdly enough, when they were all in the place the Samadhi fire was split, May also said that place felt familiar. Obviously, she isn't actually the white dragon horse who was her ancestor, so I don't know what that could mean. Now, what other evidence is there that Pigsy, Tang, and Sandy are actually the original pilgrims and not reincarnations? Well, firstly, Pigsy himself believes they might actually be the original pilgrims. Okay, uh, maybe I'm crazy, but the... Uh... Those are us, right? Oh, we're finally getting into it, huh? So, what do you think? I got some theories. Pigsy, what are you talking about? I met your parents. These heroes existed hundreds of years ago. There's no way those could be us. Oh, come on, Tang. A blue guy and a pig? We know May's descended from that dragon, and you literally have the same name as Tang San Jang. Tang San Zhang. San Zhang. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's just too big a coincidence, don't you think? So, if Pigsy was saying there were merely reincarnations of the original pilgrims, why would Tang argue against this by saying, I've met your parents? If they were reincarnations, the fact that Tang has met Pigsy's parents would be completely irrelevant. Additionally, let's take a look at the Season 4 set, The Ultra Monkey King Mech. In this set, we have a Tang minifigure. However, he is dressed like Tang Sanzhong. Now, while one side of his face obviously has Tang's face print, the other side looks more like Tang Sanzhong's face. But most importantly, on the official description of this set on the LEGO website, this minifigure is described as the original version of Mr. Tang. Now, if Pigsy, Tang, and Sandy really are the pilgrims, why don't they properly remember and why doesn't Sun Wukong recognize them? Well, I propose that Lady Bone Demon erased their memories and other people's memories of them, or at least other people's ability to recognize them. At separate times, Lady Bone Demon said to Sun Wukong and Macaque that she would erase the world's memory of them. I will erase the memory of you from this world. If you betray me again, 
One misstep, one failure in any way. I will erase the very memory of you. Thus, it is quite possible Lady Bone Demon messed with everyone's memories, erasing Piggy, Tang, and Sandy's memories, and preventing other people from recognizing them. Now, we know that Tong, Sanjang locked Lady Bone Demon away based on this image. So, if their memories were not erased before she was locked up, when did she do it? The first option is that she instigated it before she got locked away, but it didn't take effect until later. The second option is she did it while she was being locked away. As you can see, she is in quite close contact to Tong Sanjang, so even though she was chained up, she still could have done something to him. The third option is that she did it while she was locked away. We know that the mayor was not locked up with her, and he orchestrated her release, and he seems to be shown to have some of her power in the episode Skeleton Key before she was released. If the mayor had some of Lady Bone Demon's power while she was locked up, he could have messed with people's memories on her behalf. Now, even if the mayor did not erase anyone's memories on her behalf, I still believe Lady Bone Demon could have done it while imprisoned. When she was first imprisoned, her crypt looked like this. It was secured with five chains. However, when her crypt is opened in season one, we see her containment coffin has been broken open, with only four chains now securing it. If she managed to break her coffin and was no longer properly contained, she could have been powerful enough to use her power to erase people's memories from inside the crypt. So in summary, I believe Piggy, Sandy, and Tang are the original pilgrims because they look the same and have some of the original pilgrims' memories. And I believe their memories were erased by Lady Bone Demon. The last thing I want to mention is we do know Lady Bone Demon will probably have an impact in Season 4, even though she is dead. There is still this mysterious scroll with the Oracle Bone Script Zodiac symbols on it. The same symbols Lady Bone Demon always uses. Anyway, thanks for watching. Feel free to check out my other Season 4 Theory videos or my Monkey Kid animation videos.